you're watching this, you're one of the crazy people that likes reverb on everything. Me personally, I like things tidy. You know, does it spark joy? If it doesn't spark joy, get rid of it. Tidy it up. I think Leslie in there is just throwing up because she knows what my house looks like and she knows that's a lie. But in a mix, I like things tidy. I like things locatable. I don't like mushy, washy things, which is why the Melee is imperfect for me, but it's so much freaking fun. You might be one of those people that like shoegaze. Why is shoegaze called shoegaze? I had to look it up because people were looking at their shoes because they have too many jam paddles. It's music that's very washy, very wavy, has lots of effects, and everything is drowned like crap in reverb. So, Walrus Audio said, why don't we make a pedal that pretty much gives you that distorted reverb sound right away? And they did. And that's what it looks like. It's freaking pink and it's cool. It's called the Melee. You can see one knob, three switches, and the joystick. Very different idea to operate a pedal. Full disclosure, I just read the manual because to me this was self-explanatory. It's a very small thing that Walrus has there. Walrus has a very small thing this time. And I completely did not know that it has three different reverb types. So the track that you heard in the beginning, which I beautifully wrote and performed for you, actually only had the pink mode on. That was it. That was it. Only the pink mode in the whole track. I didn't know it had an orange and a blue mode. Three different reverb types, and I only used one. So with you, I will now discover the others. Volume kind of speaks for itself, makes it loud and not so loud. Tone, three different settings, that is about it. Bright and not so bright, I guess. Decay, longer decay, and then shorter decay, which is kind of cool. You know, it's, why have a knob? Three different settings should be enough. And then distortion into reverb, which is what you should be doing when you want things clean or reverb into distortion. Don't do that. But you can and we will. Now, let's talk about that for a second. Distortion to reverb means the distortion gets reverberated with all its dynamics and all that stuff. The problem is distortion itself is a massive compressor. Everything gets squished and made louder. A reverb lives from its tail, meaning it gets created over here, bam, and then the tail is natural decay. Well, if you're pumping that through the compression of a distortion, what happens is, bam, and then it kind of stays up here, and you see, you hear this reverb tail, which should be nice and quiet, you hear it way loud, which means the natural trail of the reverb gets compressed, and there's just way too much of it. Can be cool, usually sounds like crap, if you ask me, but you're a shoegaze guy, which means you love it. Joystick, distortion, up and down, mix, left and right. Is it necessary to have that on a joystick? No. Is it cool? Fuck yeah. We actually have cameras to show it from the side so you can see the stickiness of the stick. Look at all the sticky joystickiness. Now, big question to Warris Audio, and it's probably the answer is probably the joystick handing. Shut up. Why is output here? input there, 9 volt right next to it. Wh wh why? Why? Because they just switched all their pedals to top-loaded ins and outs in 9 volt, which makes sense. Nothing on the top. Of course, when you look at the positioning of the joystick, it makes sense. Could they have taken the joystick down a little bit over here and made it all top-loaded? Yes. They decided not to because, damn them! I don't know. It works. So, Distortion and mix all the way down would be down here. Pick mode, it's a big reverb. This guitar, Tone Fox L Caster, version 2. They're both single calls, don't think it's a P90. Going into the Tone King Sky King, cream back loaded 412 in the Ox. Whether or not we go into different amps, we will decide. I don't know how relevant that is for this pedal. <laughs> Little bit of drive, that's all we're getting. 
get now even less drive because I'm further down on the drive drive meter but we're getting a little bit of we're getting a little bit of reverb now we're almost getting a kill dry Let's evaluate the reverb right here. So the tone affects the reverb and the drive equally. Much darker. Kind of in the middle. Longer. It's already massive decay there. not telling you what the sustain switch does but I think I figured it out when you click it it holds the sustain when you hold it in it does momentary sustain hold so and then the guitar turns into full clean and that's it So it's either a momentary or a latching switch for not infinite, but quite a bit of it in it. Sustain. Nice. Should we go to the other modes where we are right now? Yeah, let's wait with the distortion. I know, I know you want it. I'm not giving it to you yet. I didn't know because you had to switch both foot switches at the same time. There isn't a free algorithm switch on the pedal. I think it should have that. Why not have that with a fourth switch walrus audio? Feels unnecessarily complicated to have it with the two foot switches because they're quite far apart and I can't really do it every single time with two fingers because it either turns off or goes into sustain because one of them is switched before the other. So I'll try it like this. And then it goes into the next mode. Blue. Oh, that actually works better than two fingers. So we're in orange now. Octave down reverb.
prefer the bright. I, I, I do prefer. I do prefer the bright. I do prefer the bright uh, tone variation. Damn, this is enjoyable. I don't know where we use it other than far in the background lines, kind of cellowish. But damn, is it nice? And we haven't even distorted it yet. Wait, we get into that. Switching to blue mode, which is reverse. It's a reverse reverb, but it actually sounds like reverse delays. It's not like reverse reverb, but it sounds like individual ripples. Do you hear that? Why does it sound like ripples? dark ones. Back to the original mode. Okay. Gonna go to not so much decay. Let's go to middle setting. So this is stuff that you don't play with a melee. Because it's all just wishy-washy stuff. Think big, think long. Ready? That's that's all there is, and that's fine. Rounder and more brighter road. I can never really turn the reverb off completely other than taking the mix down with the joystick sticky. But all the way on the left is kind of what that is. But why would you want that?
Ouais, mon mix. Careful not to play any wrong notes because they they they'll come back to haunt you if you know what I mean.
much shorter to get there, but also much less fun. So, sorry, that's a, uh, you know, the screen is buzzing. It's not the pedal. Reverb into drive. I guess. You can hear that the whole reverb tail gets compressed like crazy. Uh, by the way, at the end, that's my gate. You can do less mix. That is going to tame it. could do that but it's called shoe gaze and not finger gaze so i don't know how you're going to do that with your shoes would you should you step on that uh, joystick I, I wouldn't so you might have to bend down and do that wiggle thing on stage i don't know if you would <laughs> I mean, realistically, it is called Wall of Noise. So, yeah, it needs that reverb into drive sound because the other sounds are beautifully lush. That shit's just noise. So if you want to have a pedal with the subtitle Wall of Noise, you need to create some noise, of course. Um, I could do the same, by the way, by pushing it into the MVP66. Bypass, so they're always there with you if you wanted that.
so going into a driven amp with drive into reverb and then actually going into a driven amp has a similar effect, but I actually think, damn, that was cool. So, load the noise for you. Make it big, Leslie. Thank you very much. Hyper unique. I don't know if there's anything else that does that thing that is so singularly aimed at that style, at those sounds. And as someone who has no relationship with the style at all, I had a blast creating the track in the beginning. I can absolutely see how it's fun to play these sounds, writing with them, mixing them as an engineer. Wow, difficult. But that's the style. And I think if you're a shoegazer, this is the thing. I can't tell you how much it is because um, it is January 5th and it's not even released for uh, another week yet. So I don't know. I don't know how much that is. But if you're into massive sounds and getting taken away by them, as I did in this video, I was at points totally forgetting that I'm filming a video. Melee is for you. And did I play like this and say these things because they're paying me for this video? No, I did not. If you believe that, I, I don't even know what to tell you. I put links below. Please use them. That really helps. What else to say? Uh, what else is what? What else is to say? Nothing other than links below. Please use them. Thanks, Leslie. Animals at the end.